welcome to our myself professor deshmuk game is going to present the theory lectures on methods of control of vibrations so what exactly the vibrations control it is the set of technical things for the uh, aim to mitigate the seismic impacts in the buildings and non building structures uh, okay so quite simpler one again the, there are the two types that is passive and active one so what happened in the case of the passive control uh, devices had the no feedback for its impact Uh, between them, that is the structural ele elements and the ground. So, what happened in the case of the again second type, that is uh, active control devices, in cooperate with something feedback is recorded uh, in between them, that is called as what active control. So, this is the two comparison, uh, the passive, there is no feedback, and while the active, that is a feedback system is there. So, why we need to control the vibrations? so vibrations may cause some adverse effect that is a uh, some impactful effect and which cause the um, the performance degradations and it lead to some impact on the system just like the fatigue failure okay second is what fatigue due to the excessive deformations so these are the two impact on the system because of the vibrations method of the vibrations control so there are something method that is first that is force reductions of the excitation input okay uh, as given to its source for example unbalance or the misalignment will decrease the corresponding vibration response of the system second that is a mass additions will reduce the effect of the constant uh, excitation force third that is a turning that we can say changing so what happens in this case the natural frequency of the system or amplifications due to the resonance that you have to carry out fourth one that is isolations isolation means what what are the excitation forces that you have to achieve that can be reductions or the cancellations again the last one that is damping damping is the conversion of the mechanical energy into the heat so these are the methods let's see one by one vibration of the mechanical system that we are given some spring uh some damper is there the mass is which will be attached with some twisted moment the kx that is a spring force cx dot is the uh we can say the viscous force mx double dot this is the inertia forces f is the resultant force we got again one more simplifications in the some vector diagrams uh same things is given with the angle omega it angle phi is given so f is force m is mass x dot double dot is accelerations in meter per second square or inch per second square c is the damping coefficient we can say that the newton second parameter x dot is velocity k is the stiffness newton per meter x is displacement in terms of meter or inches we can say that so what should be the formula formula is quite simpler when f is equal to mx dot plus k cx the dot plus kx f may be the resultant we can say that the external excitation forces so first type that is force reductions so what is the input is given at the component that which will be lead to the uh, unbalanced situations so that is misalignment and looseness or the rubbing the result in the corresponding reduction of the vibration response force input increases the proportional to the frequency okay this is quite simpler one against mass additions the mass additions applies is newton second law so what exactly newton second law whatever the impulsive force is directly proportional to the rate of change of momentum this is particular second law of the motions so the system will increase the force input remains constant and accelerations will decrease okay with the vibration responses and which will be approached toward the vibrations control especially equipment that are inherent high vibrations or the transient forces such as the diesel engines hammer mills and positive displacement uh, typically something the system is increased at the equipment foundations okay and this can be formally connected to the foundations if it is equal to me that we have to discuss in second law turing turing is a process to eliminate the amplification due to the resonances by the changing the system if the resonance occur means what the natural frequency of the system is equal to the force frequency under that conditions your 
aggression will be more and because of the things the system get damaged so we have to eliminate this resonance condition by means of the changing the frequency of the system okay so resonance of the uh, industrial equipment will amplify the the vibration is for that we have to already seen and which will be seen with the damping characteristics uh, isolations what is exactly the isolations isolation is one of the change they have to isolate the vibrations from its main origins okay and it can be done by means of resilient the supports isolator we have to uh, attach typically uh, electromagnetic spring again pneumatic decoupled system then again isolated system out of the phase and the force inputs isolators and the size according to the uh, the first condition that is load on the isolators the fn of the isolator systems and the frequency of the force input so this is all about your other things for this uh, theory lectures